One, two, three, four. Is Beyonce's empire built on stolen artistry? Come, let's delve into the stunning accusations made against the legendary superstar. Get ready to learn about the shocking claims. Unexpectedly, Beyonce finds herself in the center of a dispute after being charged with robbery and blackmail by other black musicians. But what is really going on behind this dramatic scandal? Who gets the power and who gets hurt in a world where innovation is king? Rapper from Harlem Beyonce has been accused of stealing choreography from her music video, Count Contessa, in a current scandal. Unknown to the public, the rapper claims that Beyonce copied actions from her video without giving proper acknowledgement or payment. The rapper brashly asserted, Beyonce needs to get over herself and just hire me. The allegation draws attention to a persistent problem in the entertainment sector, the unattributed usage and exploitation of creative works. Particularly, choreography is a type of intellectual property that merits appreciation. The rapper's call for recognition and a job represents a larger feeling among creative people who believe they are being taken advantage of or their efforts are not given enough credit. Before recommending that Beyonce hire her, Banks stated, I realized that my ex-dancer Ashanti choreographed for Beyoncé and stole the original choreography at Jip Jack made for Count Contessa. Beyoncé should just hire me and get over herself. Rapper Azealia Banks has weighed in on the issue surrounding the latest claims made by the Harlem rapper against Beyoncé. Known for being vocal, Banks has charged Beyoncé with stealing not just choreography, but also engaging in a larger pattern of behavior that involves her taking ideas from other creative women in an effort to surpass them. In light of these claims, Banks' analysis probes the matter further, casting doubt on the authenticity of Beyoncé's message of female empowerment. Banks implies that although while Beyoncé is widely recognized as an advocate for women's rights and empowerment, her behavior might not be consistent with this message. Beyoncé's insistence that Banks get real with herself and recognize the accomplishments of other women raises important questions about representation and acknowledgement in general. In a field where women have long been disregarded and mistreated, particularly women of color, allegations about the behavior of a well-known celebrity such as Beyoncé are significant beyond the isolated events. They are a reflection of enduring systemic problems with appropriation and inequality in the entertainment industry. Furthermore, Banks' remark about Beyoncé wanting to be a regular bitch hints at a need for genuineness and modesty from a person who is frequently held in high regard. Sometimes, Beyoncé's superhuman persona gets in the way of her humanity, which makes it hard for her to relate to the problems and experiences of regular women. Finally, Azealia Banks's comments expand on the discussion around Beyoncé's alleged appropriation of other women's choreography and artistic creations. Beyoncé is under pressure from her detractors to strike a balance between her public persona as a champion for female emancipation and the accusations of theft and exploitation. As the conversation goes on, it becomes clear how important it is for women working in the entertainment business to be sincere, responsible, and encouraging of one another. What is your opinion on the current scenario? Do you think Beyoncé will do such a thing? And that's all about it. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you like more AI updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to not miss out on any video and to get notifications on time.